Welcome to this video which literally cuts to the chase without a lot of long lecture explanations and I'm just looking at five pieces of data or five data definitions. Let me just say five words associated with basic statistical data or a bunch of numbers. I recommend, even though it isn't absolutely necessary in all of these cases, I recommend that the numbers are arranged in order before you start the process. It will just make life easier later on. The five concepts that I'm going through with you or the five definitions I'm going over with you are as follows. The first one is the word mean which we know best probably by a more common sense term called average. Basically you add the numbers together in the list and divide just like you're averaging grades or averaging scores. So if I take these ten numbers and I happen to know there are ten numbers ahead of time, if I take these numbers and put them in a calculator and add them together I will get a total of 247. Now to get the average of course or the mean is what it's called in, in statistics. I divide that by 10. The reason I divide by 10 is because there are 10 values in the list. And if I divide that out, the mean or the average is 24.7. Do not round off. I've said that a lot with my math students, so I'll say this on the video as well. So the mean or the average in this particular case is going to be 24.7. The mean does not have to be a number that's contained in the list. So the answer is 24, I'll make this a little bit neater here, 24.7 when this math is done. In the case of the median, you're looking at something that we often refer to as the middle value. The middle value here is the one that's in the center of the list and the numbers must be in order. So if I'm looking at this list of numbers that are in numeric order from lowest to highest, I will find that the middle number in the stack is this one. Doesn't matter whether or not, as in this case, the 23 is repeated, just go by the middle number in the stack and that's your answer. And I'll be consistent with the color scheme for those who may be a little obsessive compulsive that way. The middle number or the median is going to be 23. The mode. The mode is the number that occurs most often. I think of the word mode and most as being alike because they both start with the letters MO. So I look at the numbers and again when these are arranged in order it's much easier to figure it out. Sometimes you'll have a tie for first place, sometimes you won't have a mode. In this particular case, once again, the mode, the one that occurs most commonly compared to the others, is the number 23. Had I had a couple of 25s and a couple of 23s, I could have two mode values, very possible. The range. With the range basically, you're going to see how far apart the numbers how far apart the numbers are. And we do that by taking the lowest number and subtracting it from the highest number. So in this case I would say 35 subtract 5 and the range of values from the highest to the lowest value, they're 30 numbers, 30 spaces apart. 35 take away 5 is 30, and that gives you the range. Finally, the outlier is a value, and I use the phrase, it's out there lying by itself. The numbers may tend to converge closely together. And I'm going to say a value on one extreme end of the list. Do not assume that every list has to have an outlier. It does not. For example, in this case, and I'm going to get rid of some stuff here because I've learned in Math 140 that the more stuff I have on the screen or on the board, the more scarier it gets for some students. If I look at the last number in this list, there's not really a great distance between them as far as the pack, but if I look on this end where I've got 5, this 5 is pretty far away from the rest of the pack, so my outlier in this case could be argued that as the number 5. So those are your definitions. The mean, which is the average, add them up and divide. The median, where you take the numbers in order, find the middle one. The mode, the one that occurs the most. The range, how far apart the highest and the lowest numbers are, you're subtracting. 
and the outlier where you may or may not have a value that's on one extreme end of the list that's far apart from the others. Let's take another list of numbers which happens to be right here and try this same idea and just ignore that thing that says population and sample. I'll try to scoot that out of the way for you. Okay, for the mean, and I'm just going to go through the process right now. I'm not going to give you the answer. For the mean, I would add the numbers and divide by 6 and that would give me the answer. For the median, which means middle, and these are in order, the thing right here is that there is no middle number. Because there's no number in the middle, what I have to do, when there is no middle, I have to take the middle two numbers, add them up and divide by two. That will happen in any list where you have an even number of items. Like if you have eight numbers in the list, or 10 numbers in the list, or 20 numbers in the list, you'll have two middles, so to speak, and you'll have to add and divide to find the median. The mode, the one that occurs the most. There is no value in this list that occurs the most. Each value occurs once, so in this case there is no mode. The range, I take the highest and the lowest values and I subtract them. And that answer will give you the range. Finally, the term called outlier. If you have a number in the list that's really far away from the others, and I'm going to spell this a little bit better than I did, because I'm a left-handed person, so my writing consequently is not the best. An outlier is a number that's on one extreme end of the scale of the other. You could maybe argue this one as an outlier, but probably your best argument would be that the outlier in this list of numbers would be this one, because 300 is really, really far away from 141. Hopefully this gives you a general idea of these five statistical number definitions. If you need any additional help, contact me or get a fellow student to help you out individually.